I have always been very interested in the way different religions understand death and afterlife. I, you know, it's something that we all have in common, it's something we're all going to experience, yet people can't seem to come to a conclusion on what it really is or what really happens. And so I wanted to explore a culture that had a really solid idea of what it means to die and what afterlife is and find out how that affects the way people behave on a day-to-day -day basis. I wanted to work with the Tulensi because my advisor, Alan Fisk, worked in West Africa, specifically in Burkina Faso, for many years and had a really good understanding of traditional West African religion. Um, so for that reason, I decided I wanted to find a tribal religion um, in West Africa that had been fairly well studied, at least was well known um, in the anthropological community, so that I could really pursue uh, finding out more specific details about how afterlife beliefs affect the way people behave on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> The craziest thing that happened while I was living with the Tulensi was I was doing an interview with uh, the father of the home that I was living in. And I asked him all my questions, we had a great conversation, and then at the end of our interview he said, you're like Dr. Fortis. And I, in my head, was thinking, oh my, oh my god, how does he know who Dr. Fortis is? Um, Meyer Fortis was an anthropologist that worked with the Tulensi in the 40s and 50s and uh, basically is the man that and the reason why everyone knows who the Tulensi are in the anthropology world. And I said, yeah, no, I, I, I am like Dr. Fortis. That's he's, his profession. He's an anthropologist. That's what I want to be. That's why I'm here. And he said, oh, that's so funny. Dr. Fortis lived here in this compound. And I was just completely in shock and said, well, what do you mean? And he said, my grandfather was the chief when Fortis was living with the Tulensi, and he lived in this compound with my grandfather, and my father was a child uh, at that time. And I was just, I, I was shaking. <laughs> I was shaking and sweating and freaking out that this strange coincidence was taking place I mean, it's a large, the Tulensi are a very large tribe. There are about 12,000 Tulensi, and there are eight to 12 different villages, depending on who you ask. So it was just this amazing series of events, and I just felt so unbelievably grateful to be following in this uh, idol of mine's footsteps. <laughs>